Lamont and Tonelli. And now it's time for 69. 69, Jabroni. Oh, yeah. 69 over here. You know that we all love 69. Papa, like at a 69. Uh-huh. 69, bro. Hey, now it's time for 69. It's time to talk football with old number 69, Mike McGlinchey. Doesn't love 69. Sponsored by 21st Amendment Brewery. Time to try 21st Amendment's Hell or High Mango. Brewed with real mangoes. And by the Contra Costa County Office of the Sheriff. Visit CocoSheriff.org to learn more about a career in public safety. And yes, it's time for old 69, Mike McGlinchey. Mike, how you doing this week? Doing well, guys. How are you doing? Doing great. Hey, big win yeah. in Chicago. Good looking win there. Yeah, it was a huge one. We needed it real bad, and I'm uh, excited to be able to put one in the W column and hopefully start a little bit of a run here. Hey, so, what time did you get back from Chicago on Sunday? Actually, I think I was home by like nine thirty or ten. So oh. it wasn't it wasn't too bad. We uh, it was a noon start on uh, in Chicago, and right. then that you know. The ten a.m. so ten a.m. here, yeah, and uh, we get, so game was over by three thirty there, and we gained the two hours coming back on the, to the left coast, and um, and it was uh, it was it was an easy night to get back in. Yeah, but still a little late to do anything Halloween wise, I guess, but with Sunday being uh, Halloween night. Yeah, no, I think my girlfriend had just had said that uh, I I just missed the last crop of trick or treaters, so um, they did they did well in, in Willow Glen and. and and had a lot of candy passed out for all the kids. So uh, I unfortunately did not. I missed all the Halloween festivities, but um, Brooke took care of it for sure. So what were you stocked with at home? What were you yeah. eating out for Halloween? So I made sure to go over to Costco to get the uh, full-size candy bars. Oh, and you the, see? Uh, Good let man. Me, Mike, you do yeah. the same thing I do as well. You can't be the house that doesn't give out the full size. So well, we you don't want to get toilet paper. That so, is you know. correct. Yeah. yeah. So we... We did uh, we did a bunch of full size candy bars and then we pe- picked up a couple of those uh, the fun size candies as well. So you threw one one full size and then a handful of the small stuff. Yeah, so, or or just in case you run out of the full size, if kids hit you a couple times, <laughs> then just like guys, this is all I have left the small sizes. Yeah, so you always make sure you have enough to for if you run out. But uh, we uh, we we didn't get as many as my first two years out here. I think people are still a little hesitant with uh, COVID and everything. Right. Hey, um, so let me ask you this. What did you hand out? Do you know what kind of candy bars you uh, you were handing out? Yeah, it was. Uh, we brought the, the packs of Hershey's, Reese's, Kit Kats, and Twix, I think. Yeah. And then and then the uh, then it was mo- mostly sweets in the uh, in the fun size, like the Skittle, the Skittle fun size, Sour yeah. Patch, all Do that. Do you eat any of that before Halloween? Like, I almost went through a whole box myself. <laughs> What's your go-to? No, right. I, I, mean, I made sure not to open the packages so I wasn't tempted. Um, <laughs> and, and I had Brooke uh, put all the fun size candy bars in the freezer so that I could uh, eat some frozen chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a frozen bar. Those are fantastic. Right. Hey, just kind of yeah. curious, what does a six foot eight, three hundred pound guy dress up for as Halloween? <laughs> yeah, what have you? What has been your best costume over the years? Uh, we actually got together as a team this week for a Halloween get together, and uh, Brooke and I were Bugs and Lola Bunny from Space Jam. Okay, That's uh, awesome. That was, that was pretty. That was pretty easy. Uh, though I did. I had to only put the bunny ears on for pictures because I was standing at about eight foot tall with the bunny ears. <laughs> uh, um, now, can you send it, us that picture? Because I would love to have that on our web page. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I can I figure that out for okay, sure. Okay, Baby Huey, that's your job. Get get McGlinchey <laughs> in a bunny hilarious. outfit. Yeah. Oh, that's, that is beautiful. I would imagine, though, with your size, you'd be a great some kind of a great monster or something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, well, the thing is, is that when you put when you put huge suits on like that, you sweat like the heaven. So I, I try not to do anything that's too uncomfortable because I I'd be sweating like a monster, and then and then the actual monster is, suit would be destroyed. I mean, you got a chance to scare the bejesus out of the kids in the neighborhood. <laughs> See, that's the thing, though. I was I was a big anti. I was very anti Halloween growing up. I was I was a very uh, scared little guy i didn't like i don't like scary movies i don't like monsters goblins and ghouls and all that right so i would never 
that upon uh, little kids coming to my house. Now, you Aww. mentioned it was a team deal. Uh, what was, other than the bunny outfit, what was the best What was the best teammate's outfit? Well, who had the best costume? Uh, George had a pretty sick Halo costume. Um, Tom and his Tom Compton and his wife Tiffany were pretty awesome as Willy Wonka and Violet. Right. Um, uh, trying to think of a couple other ones. Does Shanahan dress up as anything? I did not see Kyle in any uh, in, in any gear. No, oh. he might have. He might have got it for his kids, but not for us. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Hey, big game coming up this weekend. Yeah, this is huge against the Cardinals Sunday at Levi's. No doubt. It's a big divisional game. Hopefully we can get back. We, sit, we stay on the winning side here and, and start a little run at, with, at the last 10 weeks of this season. I think uh, the way things went last week, it was a good stepping stone to get things in order and, and, and play great football and, um, we, and start playing more of a complete team game. And, and um, that's what we're going to continue to try and do the rest of the year. Hey, I'm kind of curious. When you're not in the game and the defense is on the field, what are you doing to the sideline? Uh, we normally, I'm, I'm sitting with the uh, the rest of the offensive line and our offensive line coach, going over the pictures and and the way the last drive went, so we can make adjustments to what we're seeing out there. If they're doing anything different, or reminders about what's going on going forward in the, in the game plan. Don't you have any like weird conversations that have absolutely nothing to do with football? <laughs> Um, if if we get through the uh, if we get through the um, the sheets and, and the and the game plan fast enough, sure. Sometimes uh, I haven't done that as much recently. I have before. Um, Kittle tends to have a couple of those moments throughout a game, talking about what kind of cheeseburger he's going to get after. The game. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Hey, well, yeah. good luck against the Cardinals this weekend. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And baby Huey, get the picture of him in the bunny outfit. All right. <laughs> All right, baby, he was nodding yes. Hey, Mike, good luck Sunday, huh? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, Mike McGlinchey, he'll talk about anything. That's why we love him. Old 69. (laughs) Old 69 dressed as a bunny. (laughs) That pick I have to see. Lamont and Tonelli.